In this video, I'll show you how to add a privacy policy to your Squarespace website and what I use for my own website. If you have a Squarespace website and you're walking through my pre-launch checklist, welcome back. And if you don't have a copy of the checklist yet, I'll drop a link below in the description so you can grab it. All right, we're here in the Celine Squarespace template. There are things that I really like about this template, but I'm gonna show you something I don't like before we get to adding the privacy policy. If you scroll all the way down to the footer, you'll see that like, this text is really hard to read. Like, I feel like there's something wrong with my screen and it's not great for accessibility. So I'm gonna edit the site footer and I'm gonna take this text and I'm just gonna make it lighter so we can actually read it that, I mean, it doesn't look as trendy, right? But it's readable. So let's go ahead and do that for the place that we're gonna be working with the text down here in the very bottom of our footer, we have a copyright. And this is where I'm going to add the link to the privacy policy, but there's something that we need to do first. I'm gonna go ahead and save this and exit. We're gonna hop into pages and set up a page for our privacy policy. So I'll go to pages under not linked. I'm going to click the plus icon. I'm gonna start with a blank page and I'm gonna call this privacy policy. All right, I'm gonna click on my cog icon, check a couple of things. I'm gonna check that my URL slug is right. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the SEO and make sure there's nothing in this SEO title because sometimes Squarespace likes to sneak some stuff in there like general two, and it makes no sense to anyone. So just double checking that, that there's nothing there. It's actually pulling privacy policy for me here. And if you want, you can actually hide this page from search results so that it's not getting indexed by Google. And I have kind of mixed feelings about that. I tend to hide it so it's not showing up in search results, but we do want Google to understand that you have a privacy policy because it's important because chances are you're required by law to have one. Now, I'm not an attorney, and if you're like me, you probably don't want to pay an attorney thousands of dollars to figure this out for you. So I rely on Termageddon, which is a service that provides website policies that automatically update as the laws change. I've been using this for years. I'm really happy with it. And they will actually onboard you and answer any of your questions. And one of the founders is in fact an attorney. So awesome. This is what I use. Once I hop in, I answer some questions and then I just get my embed code and copy that, pop it on my site. And anytime the laws change, they update it for me. If they need more information from me, they'll send me an email and just say, hey, there are a few extra questions you need to fill out. The laws are changing and it automatically updates on my website. I never have to touch it on my site again. So loving this and of course, there are other free options out there, but just for peace of mind, I am happy paying for Termageddon. And I do have a coupon code I will drop in the description below. So if you want to check it out, grab that coupon code. It's an affiliate code and you'll get a little discount if you choose to grab Termageddon for your website. Now, regardless of what privacy policy you're using, we need to go ahead and set up this privacy policy page that we've started. All right, so here on our privacy policy page, we need to add a section and a block so that we can get our privacy policy on this page. Now, this is one of those times that I will scroll down and choose to use the old school classic editor because it makes my life easier with this kind of content. Now, that's gonna automatically give us a text block here. So if you are pasting in your privacy policy from text, that's how you'll do that. If instead you are working with Termageddon like I am, you're going to just hit this insertion point, choose code, and you're going to paste in that embed code that we grabbed from Termageddon. I'll just copy that, paste that in, and you'll see that it's not viewable right now, but when I save the page, we'll be able to see it. One caveat is that if you plan to use code blocks or really do anything other than just have the most basic site, you'll need the second level of hosting from Squarespace. As I'm recording this today, that's called the business plan. Those names may change. So just check that your plan allows you to embed code blocks. They're super handy for a lot of reasons, not just privacy policy. 
Now I have this embedded. I'm going to go ahead and click on my text block and delete that because we don't need it anymore and hit save and exit. And now we'll be able to see my privacy policy. It's all styled in the style of my template. It's gorgeous, very happy. And now all we have to do is link that up in our footer so that the world understands we have a privacy policy. So on any page, I happen to be here still on my privacy policy page. I'm gonna scroll down hit edit site footer. And I typically add this right after the copyright. So I'm just gonna type in the words privacy policy and highlight those, click the link icon, and I'm going to hit the forward slash key on my keyboard and start typing privacy policy. This is another little bug I've been seeing in Squarespace. It should give us a list of all of our pages on the website. If you're at the very bottom of your website and it's cutting you off, what you can do is temporarily just add a big section to the bottom. We're gonna remove that in a second, but now when I go back and I look at the, my link, which is halfway done, I'm gonna remove that, click the link icon. Now I can see my pages here. I'm gonna click privacy policy, click off, delete this extra section that I added here. Okay, Squarespace, I don't want to remove this section. I want to remove the one at the bottom. Here's another really tricky thing that happens sometimes. What I'm going to do to get around this is move this section down. Now I can delete the section that we don't want that was just there so we could see the pages. So I have my privacy policy added now. I'm going to go ahead and click save and exit. When I go to the homepage of my website and I scroll down to the bottom, you're gonna be able to click on privacy policy and it will take us to our privacy policy page. And that is how you add a privacy policy to your Squarespace website. If you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up as it helps other people discover my videos. Thanks for watching and I wish you all the best with your website.